Hi guys, it's Holly here and I'm with Dr. Lay Norton and we are up to week 15, could be 16, might be 17 of my WBFF World's Contest Prep Series. Honest to God. To be fair, I don't know what we can decide this. So. I am so foggy at the moment. Um, just my con concentration. You were asking me to grab the camera and you like, can you grab a container? I know. I was looking at a container and I said to Lane, can you please grab the camera so we can film this update? And I said, container. Like, I just, and then someone spoke to me at the gym today and I was like, oh, <laughs> <Well, laughs> Cody. Words. <Yeah>. <laughs> But honestly, that Do you have any carbohydrate on you? What about some coffee? I'm surviving this on uh, coffee right now. So, yeah, it's been... It's been probably the toughest prep thus far. Yeah. Would you agree? <laughs> I would definitely agree. I don't feel You've like... You've been really short with me. <laughs> you know what? I think it came in and it was like kind of this with my energy levels. And it still is. But I don't think that that's actually been the most difficult. I think it's been my mood mm. has significantly Yeah, you weren't... Changed. Like, last prep, you were not in a bad mood, really. You were like near the end. Like I remember no. you actually like... I felt like you were kind of in your rhythm. Yeah, I honestly... Um, I felt that was fine last year. Mm. This time, all of my scores for like the questionnaires that we have for our mental health and like the psyche, uh, they're going to be terrible. It's been, fun. Mm. it's been fun. I do feel sorry for Lane. I just <laughs> am having a hard time just doing anything. I'm like, just give me a physical task. Don't ask me to do anything that requires focus. Yeah, it's <laughs> triggering for you also when you don't feel competent to do like, because oh. you pride yourself on being smart. So yeah, and right now I'm really I'm like you're earning that blonde hair right now. I know. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, which really fucking annoys me. Excuse my French. Um, <laughs> my macros are 155 protein, uh, 90. That's a nine zero carbohydrate, uh, and 30 fats and. So that's 1,250 calories if you like to do some math. I think one thing to to point out is I think part of the mood problems as well as part of the really problems you've had with your body being so resistant this prep is rolling over from last prep you didn't have a long enough off season or reverse diet and i think that you are having like i think you really started dieting hard for shows like 2015 something like that yeah. and i think you're just like you may feel like it's a long enough reverse diet a lot of you ladies feel like you reverse diet long enough no i admitted it wasn't but like these things tend to compound if you haven't done enough time off season work. I mean, you did put on lean body mass, but I mean, who knows how much of it you're going to lose because of how aggressive you have to get now. Hmm. That's the, that's oh, the really sucky thing. That was it. That's just, I just had a little bit of a heart flutter when you said that. Don't tell me that <laughs> I lost that lean muscle that I put on. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> can we move on from that topic? Cause that's stressing me that, out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If uh, my body turns up in a lake somewhere, you guys will know what happened. Um, no, so it's been fine. I've just been removing myself from <sighs> you. <laughs> That's how I'm dealing with this so that Lane does not have to be around me. I just like take myself out of the equation just so that his life is a little less. <sighs> so on that note, um, on Wednesday, um, I actually removed myself from our uh, life. <laughs> Exits, Holly, and here is Paul Lane on his own. I went down to Anna Maria Island um, to visit my uh, client and now our friend, um, Shelly. Uh, she is a, uh, well, she's not a competitor, but she's she she damn near looks like one. She said to her, she could, if she trained for five weeks and dieted down, she'd be ready to step stage and she would be competitive. Competitive. Anyway, went down there. Competitive. Competitive. Um, but at the moment, it's uh, almost a requirement for me to have somebody to train with unless I don't want to have a great session. I find that the... Um, I think you worded that wrong. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Double negative, you know. 
It's almost a requirement. It is a requirement for me to have a good session. Um, it distracts me. I think just having some like a new. You like training with somebody anyway. I do. And like we've had a little bit of struggle with us because for me, I've I've um, I kind of uh, came up. I never had a training partner, um, mostly because when I first started, I was in bodybuilding. Nobody wanted to train with me because I would just crush them. Um, and then in powerlifting, my awesome. sessions were so long and I would crush them. So, um, yeah, nobody wants to come in and do like 10 sets of squats of triples, you know, like that sort of thing. So um, I just got used to training on my own. It doesn't bother me, but it bothers you because mm. you've always had training partners. Mm. And so I, I think it's just the difference. Yeah, like, well, um, I kind of entered the bodybuilding world, I guess. Um with other, with, with other people I definitely wasn't doing it solo and I used I'd come from a background of you know sports with friends so it was like track training everyone you trained with your friends all the time basketball you trained with your friends all the time in a team and then it was um what else oh boot camps and fitness in a group environment so yeah I think I really get a lot out of that and it's a struggle for me to I think I don't like team. having to think about other people when I train I just want to no I train. like that I, I, I think I, I enjoy it I'm like well I like other people enjoying the session you're um, like oh are they are they waiting on me are they rushing are they shut up <laughs> <laughs> so anyway um mm. but I think that's just a difference of personalities I do like to train with you mm. um I like see for me I like training when you're in the gym but not necessarily with you. It's not the same thing. Yeah, which is funny because you're the island and you like having me in the house, that's, just not necessarily talking to you. Yeah, but that's the same as me in my like personal life. I want to be living in an area that has a strong sense of community and there's a, a large social option. Like I don't necessarily want to be down there with everyone, but I want to know that they're there. <laughs> So, anyway, this is we're turning we're this into a therapy I know. session. This is like okay. Shall we go look at your macros Let's... before we just like start? Just I feel like Patty should be here. I know. Right. <laughs> um, so really quickly, I just wanted to let you guys know if you are wondering because it has come up um, quite a bit in conversation, and there's lots of questions getting thrown around. Is you know when you're dieting and you're in this um, significant deficit, how do you, how on earth do you achieve um, micronutrient um, or prevent micronutrient deficiencies? Um, really great post that they put up to show you how to create diversity even whilst on low calories. And it does require a little bit of effort, um, but go and have a read of the post that I put up um, because it goes into detail about how to kind of make some sacrifices some weeks and then, you know, the other week you'll kind of make it back up. Um, but yes, yeah, so let's go and have a look at my data. I don't really know the outcome of this week. Oh, I can see that you're on our lane. I kept it in. I know, it looks worse when you try and keep it in. You're like... <laughs> Your face. <laughs> so yeah, I have no idea how I actually progress. I'm feeling like I've definitely lost some weight. I swear you're not boring me. No, it's just <laughs> you were just probably up at the crack of dawn with children today. So oh, yeah. yeah. All right, let's do it. Alrighty, so you can see my weight at the beginning of the week. Um, what's happening here, Doc? Come on. Talk. Well, talk you were on your diet break. Go, go back up. Yeah, so here was my four days. So you didn't really, you didn't gain any weight in your diet break. No. You actually lost a little bit. Yeah, I came, I, just, I was down to 64. So two. finally you've lost weight after six weeks of stagnation. Yeah, it was just being out of the house. That's all it was. Getting <sighs> active, doing stuff, being distracted from eating and nibbling. Um, so yeah, my weight started the week at 64.5, which was after my four days of diet break, which practicing maintenance, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then, yeah, I've just been dropping, boom, drop, boom, drop, 63.2, down to 62.9 on Sunday was my weigh-in. Um, yeah, my compliance to my calories was great, 101. Um, compliance to protein, I was a little high, and you can see here I did have one really high, actually a couple of high days, 184 and 174, and that was at the expense of uh, some fats mm. on this day, um, but that's just my good habits. You know, if, uh, when your carbs get that low, it's actually not that difficult for your fats to be that low. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. I, I have a funny thing about pra that you said practicing maintenance. Why? Um, I just thought about this. My grandfather, he was getting like his like a procedure done for like the fifth time, and he's like, I know what they call it, the practice of medicine, but do you think we could get it right this time? It's funny. <laughs> Oh my god. Sorry, random fact about my grandfather. Mm. 
So 64.5 uh, down to 63.7. Yeah, you even had a low, day, low in there of 62.9. Yeah, so, and that was just after being super active. So I did my normal five weight sessions. I took a day off in the middle of the week to do my cardio, which was with the, the, the vest. Um, two 45 minute spin classes, and then just showing you what it does to be a little bit more active during the day and plan some outdoor stuff, which I just love and never get to do it enough. Um, I did a bike ride with my friend Teresa Miller on Saturday. We went for a nice ride over the Courtney Campbell Bridge. Um, 30 minutes over, 30 minutes back. Beautiful So you day. don't feel fatigued when you're doing that? No, I, so I just good. enjoy it. I'm just so happy to be outside. <sighs> Smell when I was at the end air. of my prep, I just literally couldn't be fucked to get off the couch. Really? No. I, I couldn't move. See, that would make me miserable. That's what would make me hate hate the whole thing. I just want to keep doing activities that I really enjoy. And then um, Sunday was funny. We all went training just in Dunedin. Just touching that dopamine receptor. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, so we planned to do another um, bit of activity on the weekend, and it was torrential rain so tonya and i lane went out fishing somehow managed to drive around to the store yeah me and ed just spent the day evading so storms tonya's husband went out on the boat with lane and um tonya and i were like oh no we'll be active we'll go and do a ride and i swear at one point i like had my eyes closed riding along on the bike and then like i can see cows <laughs> debris it's like one of those things where like it's the it was like a little, hurricane like the little mini i know wipers. i needed goggles if i had goggles i literally would have thrown a pair on and all would have been good but we were riding through water was up to our shins on our bikes and i was looking at tonya in front of me waiting for her to just fall off my bike because i'm like how's your tire even still solidly on the ground so you had to push a little harder huh? yeah it was very hard yeah, me and ed had activity drinking fishing <laughs> yeah i bet so yeah it was a really good week um i was really happy to see the scales move this was really challenging but it was nice to have those um distractions people to train with um, and just trying to fit in some of those um, activities that I really like. So on to this week, I've still got a lot to go. I mean, with the target was about 60 around show day. It might be a little bit higher, but I honestly think... You're I'm not going to get to 60. Maybe as a one-day weigh-in, but you're not going to get there. As... Yeah, well, I mean, and, but I put on lean muscles, so hopefully yeah. that's reflective of, of that gain in the, yeah. in the off-season. Alrighty, this week, um, Lane and I actually had a conversation about this yesterday, um, what we're going to do with my numbers, because me, to try and be compliant, I know other competitors and females, I, I've had people on much lower than this, Ooh. like 50 for a period of time, carbohydrate, that, I just don't know that I could do that, <laughs> just don't know if I have that in me, <laughs> I mean, if I had to. Whatever it takes! Whatever it takes, right? But here's the alternative option. So for me, I didn't really want to compromise on my macro targets this week um, because it's just that would sound awful if I had to drop to 70. So, so you're choosing more activity. I'm actually going to choose more activity this week. So that's going to come at the expense of my ability to film, to record, like it's just sucking up all my time. But um, I would rather do that than have to feel like I'm starving. Like I don't feel as hungry when I'm exercising and busy. It's a, a thing, again, it kind of takes so my mind. Weird. It takes my mind off the fact that I'm eating, <laughs> needing to eat. I'm just like, anyway, other people will know what I mean. So <laughs> what, what we're going to do is I worked out if we were going to do a 10 gram drop. So I'll just show you on the screen here so that you can see what I'm talking about. If Lane and I had have taken my calories down, here's what we would have done. Okay. So we would be going from 1250 down to 1125. Okay, so that was the planned drop. So um, in that order... seems wrong. That's mean? 125 calorie drop, but that's only 40 calories, and that's only 45 calories. It should be an 85 calorie drop. That's wrong. How's it wrong? Because 85. Oh no, you're right. No, 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 that's wrong. Because that's four nine. But I'm telling you. Okay. How? Am I stupid? Are we? Are we that? Oh stupid? no, because you, you're. This is ninety carb. You put seventy in here. It's supposed to be eighty. Oh, did you want to me to? Okay. All right. Okay. Here's our little on air boo boo. So, I was well, gonna go to seventy, but anyway. So. No, we discussed eighty. Oh. 
See, there you go. I can't even remember what we talked about. Okay, well, then there you go. All right, so I was going to go to 80, um, which would be 10 gram carb drop. So that would mean that the difference here is uh, 85 calories, calories a, day. a day. So um, instead of doing that, if we take some calculator here, and I'll just do the, the math real quick. It's 595 calories for the week. Yeah, 85 calories per day deficit. There are seven days in a week. Uh, that is 595 calories. So... Instead of taking a reduction, I can do another bit of activity that equates to around 595 calories. Now, based on my Apple Watch and how that tracks my Stairmaster or my cardio sessions, um, I'm going to add in an extra 40 minutes on the Stairmaster this week. Yeah. And that should equate to about 595 calories once we divide it out over the seven day period. So... That's how I'm creating that um, that drop this week, and hopefully that will continue to see my weight go down. So fun times, fun times. Yeah, I will get rid of those there, but just wanted to explain to you how what the alt options were, I guess. Um, so, is there anything else that we need to cover this week? Nope. Hey guys, I'm gonna end this video just to help her out because she has lost the ability to form words correctly. Mm. So. Uh, if you like Holly, subscribe to her channel. Maybe not now. Like the video. <laughs> share the video. Tell your friends. She'll be back. She'll, she won't be so I really am missing brutal. my brain. <laughs> and uh, make sure She's you click the link in the description and visit our store and buy some of our lovely merchandise. And mm -hmm. hope you have a wonderful week. Yeah. Awesome. Buy our shit. We'll catch you next time. Oh, we'll be so close. It'll be two weeks out.